Hello, my brother priests, deacons, and seminarians. I'm Father Frank Pavone, National Director of Priests for Life, with ideas about preaching the pro-life message for the 29th Sunday of the year in year B. He who would be great among you is to be your servant. This is the message of our Lord and of the Gospel, and it shows us that in the Kingdom of God, differences in role never imply differences in the inherent human dignity of those who hold those roles. We know that in the kingdom of God, everyone has a king, everyone belongs to the king, and therefore we would never think about disregarding or trampling upon the youngest, smallest, and most defenseless members of the kingdom, because they belong to the same king that we do. Moreover, in the kingdom of God, those who hold public office, those who commit themselves to governing as public servants, understand that authority and power are service. And they would not think, if they're thinking in a kingdom mentality, of ever trying to deprive people by law of their very personhood. And yet that, that's exactly what Roe versus Wade does. It says the word person does not apply does not include the unborn. Completely contrary to the whole idea of greatness being in service. Those who govern in such a way as to allow abortion are doing exactly the opposite of service towards the youngest and smallest members of the human family. The dignity of human life is further expressed in the second reading when we see the assertion that Jesus, our high priest, has passed through the heavens. What does he do? He takes our human nature to the very heights of heaven. The same human nature shared by born and unborn alike. The same human nature shared by people of every race and language, by people of every ethnicity and condition of life. Jesus is our high priest precisely because he shares our humanity. And there is one humanity that now has been united to God. These are beautiful, powerful foundations on which to preach the pro-life message on this particular Sunday, and I ask God's blessings upon you as you do so.